Welcome. It is time to grab a seat, buckle up, and take a ride with me through the wild, wild west of the Web3 universe, where we will learn all about coins and tokens, NFTs and contracts, digital real estate and the metaverse, and so much more. There will be a lot to get through on the block, but I'm here to help you pave the way and avoid those nasty pitfalls and rug pulls so you don't get hurt. I will introduce you to interesting characters and concepts as we go about this journey. Welcome aboard. Your ride starts now. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I am so excited. I have a co-pilot on this ride with me today, Mrs. Heather Havenwood, who is an award-winning media mogul known as the Chief Sexy Boss and author of the top-selling book, Sexy Boss, How Female Entrepreneurship is Changing the Rulebook in Business. She was recognized by the Stevie Awards as the most innovative woman of the year in social media for 2020. Give it up, Heather. Incredible. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I know you have um, a new upcoming book, Sexy Boss. Yes. was maybe your first book. And now Sexy you have a Boss second. was... Yeah, so Sexy Boss was like my first kind of book coming out there about my story yeah. from bankruptcy to Sexy Boss. That was in 2013, and I it's a kind of a time tested book. It's like it's 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 evergreen. It's really about my personal story as a female entrepreneur of having massive success, massive failure, and then overcoming that and kind of having the story of like how do I recreate my life as a female entrepreneur. So yes, I've been kind of riding the wave of Sexy Boss for a while. However, though. I just found out last week that my book about podcast guesting um, was named last week, crazy enough, as number one, number the top 10 books of podcasting. And that yeah, girl. Yeah. Woo That's so awesome. Woo -woo. Thanks. Just found that. Yeah. Great. And you have another book coming out, or do you want to save that for yeah. later? We'll talk about that. No, yeah, we can talk okay. about it real quick because I think it's a great topic about what you're doing about on the blog. By the way, I love your intro, super cute. <laughs> Is that we are, we are like on a ship, you know what I mean? Like we are like, going out to the ethers and it feels like yeah. that, you know? So right. the name of my book is called Uncage Yourself. And it's been an amazing book. I read it, I wrote it during the pandemic. Um, I know it's just now coming out, but it what happens is you have this vision of a book and then it, like all of a sudden all these things, new stories come out during the pandemic of all things, right? So right. of course all these changes. And now I feel like it's about uncaging ourselves from what we what through the next two years. And now we're like going to the moon. So it's really about this whole story of uncaging our voice, uncaging our message, uncaging who we are. But now I'm on this whole new world of web three, which is like a uncage your mind, you know? So it's a whole nother level. I'm excited about it. I love it. I actually, as, as you were talking about it, I'm like, I need that book. I love that. Cause it's one of the things, you know, my listeners know too, for 2021, it was the year that I found my voice. So 2022 is the year that I'm uncaging that voice and doing these podcasting and speaking engagements and talking about Web3, education, educating people about Web3. And so it's really exciting to have virtually met you essentially kind of on Clubhouse. We, I was in a room you were talking on about NFTs yeah. and different projects and Web3. And I'm like, I have to connect with her. I have, oh, to, really, I have to really woman. And so I'm really excited about what you're doing what your what projects you're you know getting involved with and how you're being a women or a woman in this space as well because i think we need more female voices uh if you look on youtube if you look on different podcast platforms a lot of them are male figures that are talking about the space or tokens or coins and the reality is is females learn a lot different a lot differently and we you can't just go in there with really high level things you got to get down to the nitty gritty and actually help it make sense for people so I oh my god that's yeah yeah that's so true so i've been spending the last four months deep deep diving into this space yeah and as you know but just want to say for the listeners it is like learning a new language a hundred percent learning spanish Right. And you, so you have to like inundate yourself in Spanish. You just have to like dive in 
And now I can go into the NFT rooms and I actually know what they're talking about, right? Like, oh, I actually can understand what you just said. It is not an industry. It's not an industry. Right. It is a new life. It, it's right? a paradigm shift. It's an entire paradigm shift. Right. Yes. I'm a little older than you, but <laughs> I was around, right, in 1999 and 2000 and 2001. When girl, there was that, that was my era, too. <laughs> was that your era? Okay, girl. Well, you look amazing. Well, thank I mean, you. I remember when Katie Kirk looked at the camera, the producer, and was like, um, can y'all explain what the internet is? You know, like, <laughs> right? Do you remember that? You see it on right? A-Line all the time. That's what everyone's doing. Can, like, can someone explain what NFT is? Can you, um, right? Like, yeah. that's my sister. She should kill me. She should never listen to this. Okay. My sister, who's a VP at Visa, who just, you know, she's like, uh, she acts, you know, she, she has her ego. I love her. <laughs> She called me this weekend. She'll never admit this. Called me this weekend and said, what's an FT? Oh, <laughs> my God. Like, I'm like, oh, I just, I'm going to school my sister on something. This is amazing. Let me just take note. <laughs> um, but it, and it was right after actually Visa came out and said they're going to be doing some work on NFT and crypto world. So I think she needs, she's like, oh, I guess I need to like figure out what this is. Since my I, I better know what it. this is. Yeah, exactly. Right. And so it's an interesting conversation, of course. But my point of that, and you are right, we are in a new language. We're in a new paradigm. It is going to completely shift how we do business in the healthcare system and yeah. the coaching consulting business and in real estate. So I live in South Florida, not South Florida, but Southwest Florida, which is Tampa. And just six weeks ago, the very first real estate deal just got done. I look this way because it's literally like 15. I looked at to the address is 15 miles from my house. Wow. And it was the first time a real estate deal was sold in an NFT. And then the next week I was got invited to a little meetup with real estate. It was a real two real estate brokers, a real estate title comp, title person and two mortgage people. And we had this huge discussion and they were like, this is not going to work. And I'm like, this is so going to work. And like, this is not a good idea. of NFT. he's like, this is going to be an amazing NFT. <laughs> so this whole, it was a really good podcast because it was like, this is not working. And, but it's. A, he it's Heather, it's, Heather, can I, can I, sorry to interrupt you there. Can I yeah. clarify? Cause I know a lot of people are, are maybe understand like buying virtual real estate in the metaverse. You're oh, yeah. talking about physical real estate getting purchased as an NFT. Yes. That yes. I thank you. Thank yeah. you. This was actually a home in <laughs> uh, Florida. Yeah. With a property yep. you could walk in in the, in the world of IRL physical in real life. Yep. And what happened is, is the woman who sold it, she wanted to test it and she sold the house. She sold basically NFT and the house was in the NFT. They did an auction by the end of the day, whoever won, they had to do verify the wallet. I think your uh, audience understands that it had yep. to be ETH. Okay. Uh, and they verified it. And within one day they sold the property for approximately at that time, about 223 ETH. And at that time, of course, you know, ETH changes, it was yeah. around 600 and plus thousands of dollars. Wow. Space. And that was by the way, you know, the, the price of the property ish, right. Yeah. But it did go above property one because it's Florida, but two, it was the first ever in history house that was sold real house IRL in a real life house that sold for an NFT. That is cool. absolutely incredible. And so the person holding the NFT right now also has their digital asset, like in their Ethereum or their MetaMask wallet, if that's where it is being held. Uh, right. And then if they choose to sell the house or choose to sell the NFT, the house comes with it because it's part of that, that deal or that contract. Yeah. So this was interesting because then when I had that podcast with the title um, company and the realtor and they all live in the area. So they knew mm -hmm. the, they knew the deal and they were really intrigued. So basically what they did is they took the uh, title of the house, right. Yeah. And put it into the smart contract that was in the NFT because the NFT, as you know, is just piece of block basically a basically of data the blockchain yep. and you can put a smart contract in there you can put whatever you want in there really so they first put the house inside of an llc the llc mm. in the smart contract put the title inside of that and then the nft technically was what i call the the 
the home that they bought, right? So yes, it's really fascinating. Now, you and I are like, oh my God, this is so cool. For a title <laughs> company and a mortgage company, they're like, and lawyers are like, wait, um, where's my cut? Because if you look at real estate, how many hands, how many hands are in the pie between sell and buy? Oh my God, you have so title, many. You have, oh my God, the city, the state, taxes, title yep. insurance, mortgage, lawyers, and you have realtors. I mean, that's right there. What's that? Seven. Mm -hmm. So this, this new world will in May take out some pieces. Yeah. Right. And we, yeah. you and I are like, cool. But yeah. to them, they're like, no cool. Right. <laughs> so yeah, it's a big, it's a mind shift. It's a total it, mind shift. So who knows? Yeah. And, and just to kind of jump, piggyback on what you said right there, one of the things Gary Vee just recently was talking all about this space because he's really heavily involved in NFTs. Yeah. And one of the things that he, he was talking to an audience of attorneys and he said, either you guys are going to be on the offense of this and really dive deep and learn about this space over the next two years, or for the rest of your entire career, you're going to be playing defense because you're about to be not essentially done away with, but if you're not playing by the new rules, what's going to happen? And so I'm going to use that. Say that. I'm going to use that some because I, I, you know, what's so fascinating about this thing is that the guy who interviewed me, the gentleman, there was a realtor, mortgage, all that. The realtor yeah. was the podcast host. Yeah, three weeks. Not kidding. Him and I had a conversation three weeks before this went down. I'm on the phone with him. I'm not even met him. I go, you know what? Mark my words, there's going to be a house for sale and, and, and as an NFT. He goes, it's never going to happen. Wow. It's never going to happen. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to use that. Either you're going to be on the defense or offense. you're going to or you're gonna be on the offense. Really? And he would be on the defense. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. Boom. Happen. Yeah. Now he's a certified realtor crypto, which someone made money on that, right? So. Wow. Yeah. There's already, there's already a crypto certified real estate agent, which by the way, there's only been one that's sold. So who knows? Someone's making money on that, right? Oh At the same God. time, there's this, this is a new era and like you can yeah. either be on the forefront and be on the cutting edge mm -hmm. or you're not. So I am coming out with a couple of things. One, I'm coming out with a, my own coin. So that's a whole thing. Yeah. That's so exciting. I might be coming out with my coin before my NFT project okay. got flipped. We're working it out. But it's going to be the sexy boss coin. Love it. And yes, right. And I know, what I love amazing. about this coin is that it's going to be for me on the cutting edge of my mission, which is to help 10 million women become financially sovereign, right? And that's what the coin is going to represent. Mm -hmm. Now, there's things to do, right? It's going to be on top of Soul Solana. Okay. Um, I'm part of a community called Gary, Gary community. My part of that Gary club. Yeah. So that that's in the conversation where, you know, we're working, there's a lot of details to work out, but this is the vision and this is kind of where I'm going and I will be creating my NFT project as well, but I have to kind of like make a decision. So I'm right now going coin until if something like if something gets really delayed, but the point is, is that I'm playing, you know what I, I mean? I love it. But this right? is how you learn. This is how you learn is by playing the game, getting down and dirty. Like you said, going into the weeds for those last four months, me in the weeds, like we are just learning, getting our hands dirty and getting in there. Yeah. And I will say, because I think most of your clients, your listeners are women, maybe not, but let's say majority, I would say to you, to women who are listening, lean into this. Yes. Lean in and maybe your honey, your spouse is like, oh, crazy. That's stupid. So it is a fad. It's not a fad. Okay. It's, it's not. This is not a fad. This is like when the internet came out. Oh, it's just a fad. No, people like it changed our life, y'all. Like, right. I remember they going, people are not going to buy online. Yeah. Yeah. We buy online. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, do not be conservative here. Right. Lean in now. And the reason I say now is because no one's really ahead of you too much. Mm -hmm. I'm only ahead of you by what, five months? You can catch up. It's different when people are ahead of you five years. Yeah. You know, so you really want to like lean in right now so that you can feel confident. 
That's why I want women to lean in. I want them to go to these NFT rooms and actually comprehend what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. it's not like women are yeah. stupid, but understand it's a different, you know this, it is like Spanish. Don't go to right. Mexico right. unless you know, como está muy bien, bien, bueno, and like <laughs> baño, which is basically like cerveza, beer, and bathroom. If you have yeah. the basics, you can get anywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Texas. So like I know Spanish because you can't live in Texas without Spanish. Yeah. But I think that's my point is like lean in. Right. Lean in. It, right? That is so Perfect. huge, Heather. And thank you for sharing that. Cause you know, this is something that I always tell my, you know, participants and the people who are engaging and asking me, cause every single month I teach a course on getting started in crypto, the things I wish I knew when I first got started. And it really, really, really breaks down the basics of, Hey, there's more chains than Ethereum and Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a coin. It's its own blockchain. There's all these different pieces involved. When you're hearing somebody talk about all these big level things, let's bring it back down to what it really is. It's the blockchain. How is everything else built upon the blockchain? We have the Apple phone. We have the Android. Two different phones, two different apps. Some apps, you know, correspond, but I can't FaceTime somebody with an Android phone. It's like those are how the chains don't talk to each other unless there's certain linking so it's, it's not getting caught into all of that little nitty gritty stuff, but understanding right. lower level blockchain and how everything is built on top of it. So, yeah, I like to say that it's like HTML code. People, you go to a website right now, yeah. you're like, are we on HTML code? No, we're on the yeah. internet, but right. that's what the internet was based on. This yeah. thing called HTML code. I remember the first time I got an, a, an email, you have mail. Like I like ran across <laughs> the room. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have mail. <sighs> you know, like I remember these days I, yes. Yes. I did chat on, on literally modems like, <laughs> Get right? off and the then phone. Like, I'm trying to get on the internet. Get off the phone. <laughs> yeah, get seriously. Off the phone. Like, get off the phone. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm calling into the world. What do you mean? What am I doing? Can't you hear? Um, like, that's yeah. how old I've been, right? I yeah. mean, but people who didn't lean in, right? right they either figure it out later or they're yeah. like, God, I wish I knew now what I knew then. I wish that whole internet thing I leaned in. Lean in. This is not a fad. This is a total transformation of how we're going to do voting, of how we're going to do healthcare, of how we're going to do consulting, of how we're going to do real estate, how we're going to do lawyering, right? And contract. This is a game freaking changer on a world scale, yeah. right? So I just, that, I just like, I should do a new book, Helena. No, someone I did that book, Lean In. But Lean In. <laughs> I, and I'll say one more thing and then I'm going to pass to you because this is really critical. I think that women, I always give the analogy of the NFL and football. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a football fan, I'm a cowboy fan, go cowboys. But my brother too. I might touch a freaking <laughs> cowboy fan. So the NFL, it's like, it's really easy to sit in the sidelines and be like, dude, what are you doing? I mean, did you not see the guy? Like, that is so yeah. easy. Or even being on the sidelines as the coach, you can see things like, get the ball. What did you not see that guy coming to the left? Right. Right. But when you're on the field, when you're there and you've got these seven guys coming at you, if you're the freaking quarterback or you're the center, you're like, all right, this guy's like breathing down your neck. It is a very different story. Yeah. So people right now, a lot of people are in the stands and they're talking about, Mm -hmm. And I encourage you get on the field, like mm -hmm. get in there and mm -hmm. allow yourself. And this is the part that women don't like get hit. What I mean by that is in the NFL world, they they're exercising. All they do to exercise the world. Cause I'm from Texas. This is all I know is football is that they learn even the peewee level when they're eight years old, they learn how to get hit. Yes. That's their yeah. training. Their training is, Throw the ball and learn how to get hit. Mm -hmm. Throw the ball, learn how to get hit. Mm -hmm. That's entrepreneurial land. I mean, mm -hmm. right? Sell yeah, products, absolutely. learn how to get hit. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, if you learn how the strat, you're going to get hit. You might have something go wrong. You might have a sale go wrong, a launch go, whatever. If you mm -hmm. go, okay, I uh, got it. All right, next time, 
transfer. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is women don't like that analogy and they, they want safety and mm -hmm. security that they'll never get hit. Not going to happen period mm -hmm. in a conversation. So if you're willing to get on the field and learn and strategize, you will make money because you're the one on the field who makes more money, right? The person Absolutely. in the field, person in the stands. Yep. So really great analogy. And I think also this is why I mentioned earlier how there's so many male figures in the space. And there's so many male figures doing a lot of things because if you think about it, they are the ones that are willing to get hurt. They're the will ones willing to get hit. They're the ones willing to take chances, you know, where we we do tend to like pull back and and come into safety and and yeah. think that, oh, my gosh, you know, something go bad goes wrong. It's like, that's not for me. I'm going to pivot. I'm going to do something else. But the reality right. is, is just like you said, this is not an industry. This is not something you can choose to be a part of or not. The Internet is a part of your world. You know, <laughs> this is going to be a part of your world, whether it's a part of your world now or 10 years from now. And just like Heather said earlier about leaning in, this is your time where really everybody is at ground zero. We're all starting out, you know, so you have people, you know, a few months in front of you, maybe a year in front of you, maybe, you know, even a week in front of you. This is your time to really get in, get down and dirty, learn the lingo, learn about the space, what it's doing, what it's about to disrupt. It's not even just the financial markets with the cryptocurrencies, but it isn't the entire way of doing business that we are doing um, all going on the blockchain, just like Heather said, voting, real estate, lawyering, everything, all of that. Even I guarantee you, even the sports industry is going to be um, turned upside down. Lately, yeah. sports, yeah. NASCAR, all anything of ticketing. In right. that space, collection yep. items, car yep. sales, all of it, all of it, yep. the VIN, you know, when you buy a car, it's a VIN number. Well, that's going to be connected to NFT, to the insurance right. note. Like there is so much here that people don't understand. So it's like, if you are breathing in any kind of industry, you need to learn it. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, even, even restaurants, right? Isn't there a first NFT restaurant in New York where Ooh, in order to get in, to have dinner, I think it's called the Flying Flying Something. I forget what the actual full restaurant name. Yeah. It's in New York, and you you're an NFT holder, and you can go get a table there. If you don't hold the NFT, you don't go there. You don't get in. And so, I mean, I even the, I know, <laughs> even That's the so restaurant good. industry is being turned on its head. So I know you had some statistics yeah. from Forbes. Yeah, that you I were wanted, wanting to share. Yeah, real quickly. So I'm going to okay. look at this article. It's an article. Um, it was an article that went on Yahoo Finance, mm -hmm. but it was on Business Wire, Inc. Files. So Inc. Files, a leader in online business formation startups, and they released new data showing that the growth of women entrepreneurs across the United States. The data analyzed over 330,000 entrepreneurs, and they showed that uh, it grew by 48%. Mm -hmm. year over year outpacing male counterparts by 22% and the age range of 25 to 34. So here's the thing, age 25 to 34 is still accounts for the largest group of female entrepreneurs, period. Mm -hmm. So what I love about that is that now's the time, right? Yeah. As female entrepreneurs, as female leaders is no matter what industry you're in, maybe you work for a company, maybe you're in HR, it doesn't really matter. You need to lean and understand this. So and I say that because if they're listening here, they're probably leaning in, but I'm just going to encourage you lean into crypto, lean into NFTs. I look at them as two different things. You know what I mean? Like NFTs yeah. are very different. And yeah. yes, you, you have to have crypto to buy them, not always, but majority, mm -hmm. but they, they are a different kind of structure. You can use mm -hmm. NFTs for me. I'm very focused in the coaching consulting world. So I look at how is NFTs going to totally transform coaching and consulting businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And then, then you have crypto. What people don't, maybe you do understand I'm not an economics, but I'm a kind of a basic of economics, meaning I watch things mm -hmm. is that what's happening right now. Yes. Will the government probably get into NFT uh, crypto talking about the United States government possible highly possible mm -hmm. what people don't understand is there's this thing called fiat right fiat mm -hmm. is their circulation of that and people putting 
quote unquote money or transferring the money fiat into crypto is taking money out of circulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when mm -hmm. you start doing that, there's issues, right? <laughs> there's things that people don't like called they're not making as much money. Okay. So yeah, there's, there's issues on the government part, not on our part, but on their part, right. <laughs> yeah, on their part, the yeah. banking side, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So it makes yeah. sense. Like visas getting into it because they're seeing that they're not making any transactions. Remember right. anytime you go to the coffee shop right now and you right. use a visa track card, right. You got to imagine there's at least three little hands that are making money on that one $10 coffee, right? Mm -hmm. You have the merchant, you have bank and bank and bank. So mm -hmm. there's three little, you have the merchant, you have the other bank, you have the bank. there's a lot of hands in mm -hmm. the till. So when you start to decentralize this, Oh, I haven't add taxes to that. So when you start decentralizing this, there's a lot of hands that get removed, right? Yeah. And when you get hands removed, there's a lot of like pissed off rich people. Yeah. So what uh, my point of that is, is to lean in to understand it so mm -hmm. that it's not dictated to you. So, you know, this I've been, I've been, uh, um, you know, investing to Bitcoin since 2015. Mm -hmm. Back then it was very like, oh, it's bad. It's wrong. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. And then now you go on CNBC, they're like, oh, and what Bitcoin's doing today. And, you know, right. Doing they're like, oh, I thought it was bad. Oh, okay. Now it's good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to remember media and truth yep. are different. Yep. So the more, and the other thing to consider with this, and I know you talked about this, but the more decentralized we get, the more centralization we desire. So what that mm -hmm. means is the more high tech we go as a society, which we're already going that way, the more high touch we want. Mm -hmm. So the more that my point of this, I'll wrap it, is the leaning in when we lean in to learn from you and your courses, right? When you lean in, what's going to happen is you're going to find your people in community and connection with right. other people that can understand that too. Makes sense. Right. Absolutely. And then, and that's what a lot of, especially in the creator space and what you're yes. wanting to do with, you know, your coaching and all of that, that is what these NFT projects, when you like get behind an NFT project that you truly believe in, that you have conviction around, you want to be part of the community that is that high touch. That is that yeah. feeling of like, yes. you know, if, if there's only a thousand pieces or even up to upwards of 10,000 pieces, you are right. one of the 10,000. You're not one of mm -hmm. the 100,000 million, whatever person that also carries, you know, has a, has a shiny pen, you know, it, it's right. very, it's very um, close knit community creator, you know, puts a lot of information out to their people. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So I think it's Yeah, great. it's really true. So I you asked me about what projects I'm involved in right now. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really just heavily involved in Gary Club right now, mm -hmm. the Giraffe Tower, which is the NFT on OpenSea, yep. um, Gary Club, which is also the Gary Coin. So I put a I've invested a lot of time, energy, effort, and financial investment into that. Yeah. Uh, mainly because I know where they're going. I've seen a huge return already, mm -hmm. but there are some other ones to really look at. So the thing I would say as a, I'm not, I'm one of those always positive, not negative. Yes. However, crypto chicks, as you know, or maybe not know, I don't know, but there's, yeah. you know, we found out that, you know, yes, they had this great mission of women, but then there was like four Russian guys behind it and they were making <laughs> all the money. Like, look, y'all look, let, let's just be real there's a huge opportunity for making money and women. And I can't tell you how many companies I've come across that are target market for women and they're owned by men. And you know how pissed off that makes me. Mm, that gets me going too. I know. It's like, yeah. really? Like, Oh, there's, yeah. Oh, women are buying stuff now. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. like, Oh, okay. What? Yeah. No. So we, we, we control the purse of the family. We always mm -hmm. have. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. since the fifties, by the way, we always have. <laughs> so I, this thing is interesting. So my, my, the reason I share this is just beware. Just beware. I, absolutely. And, and it's, beware. it's so important to vet projects, to do your own research. And I, mm -hmm. I, I hammer this in, you know, just like Heather's big thing is lean in. My big thing to hammer in is to do your own research. There's a lot of noise. 
There's a lot of crazy things happening. That is why I call it the wild, wild west. Um, Cause I feel like, you know, there's everybody's telling you about something and you feel like you're getting pulled in all different directions. The reality is, is when you have conviction and you understand the project and you've done your own yeah. research, you can get behind and put money into a project, invest into a project and know that whatever the outcome, whether, you know, it's small gains, because some of them are going to be small gains. Other ones may be, right. you know, a hundredfold. You're going to be OK, you know, and you're getting your feet wet. And then, and then you move the train and the train starts moving faster and you're able to see things as they're coming. You know, it's like, oh, that good project. Nope, not a good project. Good project. And again, you, you just learn by getting dirty, by getting hit, by, by playing the game, by getting on the field. And that's what's important. Yeah, exactly. So I just, please beware because <laughs> there is no return policy, y'all. Right. And there is no, I just got something stolen, the police. Like right. it just does not exist. You, you right. probably heard Fanzo. I don't know if you heard that story. Fanzo got his wallet no. compromised. <gasps> he lost over 256 NFTs in like a day, in a second, oh an my hour. God. Yeah. Oh so, my God. It can, and he is considered a web expert, web three expert. Yeah. Um, yeah. He has the, you know, so if it can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. Here's my, um, someone gave me this advice and I'm passing it breathe before mm -hmm. you click really take a minute just mm -hmm. take a minute i almost got uh swapped an, an eth i was looking at a project click 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 boom i get this dm boom click click i was literally pressing the button connecting my wallet and i was like you know and i was like just just take a second let's just go get some water i went you know i was like let me just take a minute. And I came back. I'm like, let's just go to the official links. And what you do is you go to the yeah. project into the Discord of the official links. Yeah. You go inside yeah. to the yeah. you know the room and you go officially. And I clicked and I was like, holy shit, totally different site. And I'm like, oh, I just almost gave some random person in the world an ETH. You oh know, my so God. yeah, and it was like <sighs> You know, because you're not just giving them ETH, you're giving them access to your wallet. And my wallet has a lot of NFTs in it for me. Yeah. 51 NFTs. That's like yeah. a lot for me. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh, you're hyperventilating because yeah. it's that moment where you're like, I almost just lost everything. That's how fast it can go when you're dealing with the blockchain. And again, I don't want to scare you at the same time who's listening. It's like, this is where you lean in. If I had yeah. not been in a community that t would constantly said, go to the official links, go to the official links, yeah. go to the official links. Yeah. I was like, oh, I did go to the official links. I didn't go to the official links. That was through Twitter. All right, let me just, let me just take a second, take a breath. Yeah. You know, take a look yeah. the official links. Oh, look at that. Look, oh, that's a totally different website. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just remember, we do live in a world wide web and not everyone is truthful. Right. You know, and there's right. this thing called scams and it is what it is, you know? Yeah. So it's okay. yeah. I'm excited about my project. I'm excited about sexy boss coin. I'm excited about my NFT project. I'm excited to play. And I, I got to say real quickly, part of this, I think sometimes not just women, but people go, well, I don't want to start a project unless it's a huge success. Yeah. Mm, I will tell you my first website was like, eh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, it was, you know, rolling in the dough. Er, er. Yeah. It was like, oh, look, I got a sign up and it works, you know? Yeah. So it just, yeah. you got to just, you just got to get out there. You just got to yeah. do it. You got to do it. You know, I always think of Russell Brunson. He shares his very yeah. first website. It's him in like a pellet gun with shooting potato gun or something. Yes. I always remember yeah. that. And I'm like, look where he is now. If he had right. not put up a potato gun site, what the mm -hmm. you know, like he would not be where he is today. And so, a lot of people wouldn't have access to click funnels if it wasn't for him putting right. himself out there. So just to just one thing to say on that, and I'll let you finish. I don't mean to jump in like that, but it's, okay. it's those things that when we put ourselves out there, we have no idea the like collateral effect of what's going to happen for other people as a result, or the ripple effect is a better word. Like the ripple yeah. effect of me and Heather being on this podcast today, maybe really inspiring someone else to get into the space. And then they come in and they like blow it up 
teaching other people or doing other things or getting part of being part of a community. So you never know what that ripple effect can have as a result of you putting yourself out there. Yeah. You just, you don't know, you know, you really don't. Right. I have a video out there that I was on NBC a couple of years ago and the whole premise is just get started, just get started, just mm -hmm. get started, just get started, mm -hmm. just get started, just get started. You know, and my first book, Sexy Awesome, Zero to 90 Days, completely, completely out the door. Just get started. Like you just got to get started. And yep. when you just get started and you launch it, yep. you know, and by the way, just want to, when you create an NFT project, it doesn't have to be, they call it 10,000 pieces. Right. So right. I want to talk about that for just a second on coaching consulting, if you don't mind. Yeah, not at all. So let's talk about what's possible with NFTs. All right. So with NFTs, I think is the future is one of the things of the coaching consulting business. That's where I live in and have been for years. And the coaching consulting, information marketing, masterminds, courses, coaching programs, things like that. I think what's going to end up happening, at least I'm playing this way for the sexy boss NFT for my Genesis token, is that I'm going to be launching something where people who buy one uh, or more, but one will have an access point. They'll have an access to me or a mastermind as long as they hold one or more of the tokens, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and as they mint them, if they're the founding, if they're the mentor, they get X um, and they get access to a mastermind, let's say for a year or two or three years, or maybe even lifetime if I go that route. Mm -hmm. If they own like two or more, so here's just a different scenario. If they own two or more sexy boss NFTs, they get access to the mastermind as long as they hold those two, right? If they hold one, they get access to the mastermind for two years. And then after that, they have to sell it to someone new or they can buy another one, okay? This is an access point. What mm -hmm. I love about this, this is that you and I both know, I at least for myself, I've been part of so many high ticket coaching programs over the years mm -hmm. that- Many times in the middle of, of a, a mastermind, something's just going down with your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something's just, just happening. Yes. That all of a sudden you're like, I just don't have the capacity to go to these events. I want to, but I just, I have to handle mm -hmm. this situation. Like when my mom died, I had a big breakup at one point. So things get stopped. But then you go, what happens is you go back to the person going, I need a refund or now it gets weird, you know, or, or the cash, or you do a charge back, which is like the worst thing you could do for an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So you, it feels, it's awkward. If it's a weird mm -hmm. energy, but if mm -hmm. I, if I was part of your mastermind, right. And I said, look, I got this thing going on with my family. I really need to focus. What I'm going to do is sell my NFT. I might make probably money because now there's a wait list, right? Because right? we've grown it. Right. I make money. You make a secondary. It's called mm -hmm. secondary. Mm -hmm. So when I sell, I make a percentage. OpenSea makes a percentage. Mm -hmm. And you as the creator makes a percentage, mm -hmm. right? Which is great. Yeah. Um, the person who bought's happy because they now get to come to your mastermind. I'm happy because I'm alleviated. You and I are still good. Like you're still, right. we're still friends. We're right. still good. We're good. We're, we're good. I get to go focus on my family or whatever the situation is as an entrepreneur. And then if I want to come back, I could go buy one on the open market and come back in. I yes. Mean, think of it. There's no chargebacks as a creator, <laughs> as the entrepreneur. There's no one getting pissed off, right? No. There's just this nice flow. And I was part of the war room. This is uh, Ryan Dice's war room. Right now it's $50,000 to be part of. When I was in it, it was like 12, 15, something like that. This is a long time ago. And I, if I, they, if they had done like this market, this model, yeah. you know, and I bought one for 12,000 or 15 yeah. and then like they, their, uh, their, their event grew. So of course they increased mm -hmm. the price. If they'd only sold a hundred, seats mm -hmm. nfts for mm -hmm. fifteen thousand, right i bought one i hang out for a couple of years and i'm like I'm good I, I don't i'm done good mm -hmm. oh i can sell this for twenty five thousand, right eat i'm like i'm happy as a freaking lark Woo! you know i sell it i made money they make money this person's happy i'm happy like it's great yeah and i can prove on the blockchain owner that i was in the group yep Right. Yep. That's a key, that, that's a key part because I can't type people like, oh, you were in. I'm like, yes, I was in their group. You've known Ryan Perry that long. Yeah. Like yeah. it's kind of weird. It's like, I wish I could like show like here's right. the blonde chain. Do I really have to show this? You know, but people do. They're like, yeah, you're lying or whatever. Right. But there's there's this kind of weird 
understanding in the world of masterminds and entrepreneurship to showcase membership. I am mm -hmm. a member. Mm -hmm. You know, and when mm -hmm. you can take this in coaching consulting at that level, and I'll wrap here, is that this is a game changer for not only the creator and the entrepreneur and the coach, but it's also a game changer for the student because Absolutely. they don't feel one that constant every single month hit, yeah. but they also feel at any moment, if they need to, they can have an exit plan. They can say, I can't do it right now. I, my wife's pregnant my kid's sick, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can pass this on. I can sell it. I'm still good with my buddy, my coach, yep. my mentor. Everyone's happy. And, and what a beautiful thing to still get the value from the mastermind, yes. right? If you were part of Ryan Dice's mastermind for all this time, you got all the value. Plus you made a profit. Like that is a win-win for everybody. Right. Huge. When does that happen? I'm part of the mastermind. Like the money's just gone. You right. know, it's like, it's right. Right. bye, bye, <laughs> you know, bye, bye. Yes. So, you know, yes. and, and yes. there is charge when you deal with the chargeback of a 25,000 as a, as a, as an entrepreneur, yeah. like yeah. that's a huge problem yeah. and it causes drive, it causes relationship issues, it causes all kinds yeah. of things. So when right. you move into this new world of ETH and crypto and NFTs as a yeah. utility, yeah. Right. Then it's awesome. The last thing I love about this particular model is that you don't have to have, you can't, but you don't have to have beautiful art. <laughs> it's a thing. I don't, I don't know how to like, I mean, it, I, 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 I chuckle because one of the big projects on um, the open sea, like marketplace right now is V friends. And if you go look at these doodles that Gary V has drawn, you're like, oh my God, that's going for how much? $50,000. And it's a tiny little sketched out lizard with like, a, you know, uneven eyes and a tail that doesn't even fit the body. I'm like, what? That would be my, by the way, I cannot doodle worth any of my cuss on here. That would like, be anything. mine too, Heather. We'd all so be there. I'm like, I'm like, how do I? And I go into these clubhouse rooms, like, how do I hire an artist? Can someone, yeah. I don't know. you know, because yeah. I can't draw. Yeah. You know, I could yeah. do Canva, right? Like, can't, can't, right. can't, can't, can't Canva. Right. So, what I love about this model, Mastermind, it can literally have one image as the same image. You can have so many, you can have like 100 seats, 200, doesn't matter, number, yeah. and it can be the same image, right? Yeah. That's probably my first. Yeah. Because I, you know, me doing 10,000 derivative of sexy bosses at the moment yeah. is not, I don't want that as a friction point. Yeah. Right. I want that just yeah. to be freed up to just right. be able to have some fun with it. So anyway, I, I have to say that because I literally reached out to a friend of mine who's in the artist world. I'm like, do you know anyone who can like do sketches of NFT? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, this, this is, this is, why is this so hard for me to figure this out? <laughs> what if we just not make it? We'll just make it some right. cool image of the ex, my sexy boss logo and we're yeah. just done. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. And Thank see, you. that's all about getting started too because you don't have to have all the 10,000. You can get started with where you're at do what you do, build your community, have all of that going. And that's the beauty of the blockchain. So any yes. parting so, words or anything you want to leave with the yes. audience? When you're, when you have my sexy boss NFT on your open C, right. Which will be just the cute little sexy boss SB and sexy boss. I am a sexy boss. Um, just basic graphic, right? <laughs> it, it will not be, it will just be, look, I'm a sexy boss, right? And then we'll give you a t-shirt that says, I am a sexy boss or being the boss of sexy around it. I mean, that to me is enough, right? Yeah. And so I just will last words is just truly just lean in, um, get started and understand you are learning a language. So give yourself permission to ask stupid questions in your yes. world, stupid questions. I'm not your world, but her world. Yes. I can't, and I will land here. I can't tell you how many times I've been in clubhouse rooms and women come on stage. They're like, I know that's a stupid question, but men don't do that. No. They're like, so what's this? Yeah. What is minting? <laughs> what's minting? Yeah. And what is an like, airdrop? You know, they'll just get yeah. up there and yeah. Yeah. You need to tell me what this is. And they'll argue with you, but yeah. I just want women to lean in 
there is no such thing as a stupid question. Yeah. A year ago, I didn't even know what open seat was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like I got my very, and I'll land right here. I got my very, very, very first NFT on Thanksgiving day in 2021 where I was driving to Orlando and I'll never forget it. I get there. My friend's like, okay, it dropped. I created my MetaMask while I didn't know what the yeah. hell that was. Yeah. Um, I opened up my computer and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I got my first NFT. Oh my God. And everyone in there who I was visiting, they're like a lot older. And they're like, what'd yeah. you get? What'd you get? I go, my NFT. And I put, turn the computer around, look, and it's this, it's it's a billionaire zombie. It's like, you know, it's, <laughs> and they're like, you're excited about that. And I'm like, yeah, oh my God. God. And it's worth like a lot, but it doesn't matter. I'll never sell it. They're like, <laughs> let's get some gravy, you know? So just know. That's a great story, Heather. That's a great story. Just know you're not alone. Yeah. And not everyone's going to get it. Yeah. And it's okay. And we're it's here. Okay. It's okay. Yes. Oh, <laughs> where can everyone connect with you? The best place to get a hold of me other than Clubhouse under Sexy Boss is Instagram. Instagram is just literally by far the best place to get a hold mm -hmm. of me. I have my links in my link. I got, you know, my link tree there. So just go there. It's under Heather Havenwood. I'm there all the time. I'm posting, I'm connecting, I'm commenting, comment on my stuff. Love to connect with you. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Heather. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations. You made it through another round on the block with Dr. Brooke. I hope you laughed and learned a bit more about this crazy Web3 universe, but how simple and fun it can really be. Would you be so kind as to leave us a review and share it with your friends? It would mean so much to get this out to more people as we embark on the greatest transfer of wealth that has ever happened in history. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you on the next one.